Today we'll learn how to place a trailing stop order within the Webull desktop platform. Now unfortunately at the time of this video you'll only have the ability to attach a trailing stop to a stock you already hold in the account, which is going to be unlike a standard stop or stop limit order which can be attached to a brand new trade. But if we were to jump right into an example, looking down here in the lower right hand corner you can see I've got all my positions listed out right here. You may have this in a completely different section, but anywhere you have this, wherever you can find the stocks that you currently hold, that's fine for what we're doing today. So looking through here, you can see I've got a position on Apple, AR, and Ford, and let's go ahead and use Ford for this example. Looking here from left to right, you can see I've got 4.8 shares of it. It looks like I bought it for an average of 14.48, and currently the stock is trading for 13.11. So just for example's sake, let's say that I wanted to put a trailing stop order on Ford to exit if Ford were to ever drop by 10%. In order to do that, we're going to begin by coming back over here to the symbol and simply right-clicking on it. You'll then see a little pop-up menu comes up where we can then come over here to the right where it says close position. We're then going to come over here and say close position and whole shares because I do have fractional shares of Ford as well. But then after that, we can then finally come over here to the right and select close in order entry. That will then automatically build out a closing ticket over here within my order entry tool just to the left. Now by default, it is set to close out my entire position of four shares. It's defaulted to using a limit order and it's set to the current price of the stock right now, $13.10. But by coming back over here to the left hand side, we could always adjust the quantity. So in my case, let's say I only wanted to get a stop on one share of stock. And then after that, more importantly, we can now come over here to the order type, which is currently using a limit order. And by clicking that, we can see all of the other order types available to us. And in this case, the one that we want to use is going to be a trailing stop order. By clicking on that, we can now see a trail amount box appears to the right, and then this is where we can set our offset amount. That offset is going to default to a dollar amount, and that's what that little dollar icon means over here on the right hand side. So if I were to come over here and enter 10 in this little box right here, and type in 10 and hit enter, what I'm now saying is, is if Ford ever drops by 10 bucks, I want to exit this position automatically. However, in my example, I wanted to use a percentage offset rather than a dollar amount. So to adjust that, we're going to come back over here to the right to the dollar icon and simply click on that. You can then see it flips over to a percentage icon. And now by coming over here to the amount box, if I were to now type in 10 in here, so 10%, I'm now saying that if Ford were to ever drop by 10%, I want to exit out of this position. Since it is a trailing amount rather than a set stop, that stop is going to move up along with the stock. So as Ford moves up, my stop is going to move up along with it, always following behind by 10%. The other thing I'll mention is that unfortunately within Webull, they have only allowed the trailing stop orders for a day time in force. Meaning this order is only going to be good for today up until 4pm Eastern time and then at the end of the day it's just going to cancel itself. Hopefully they change that in the near future, but for now, if I was happy with it and I wanted to go ahead and place this trade, I'll come down here below and hit place order. That will then bring up a little order confirmation box just to make sure everything looks right. So right here you can again see what we're about to do. We're about to sell one share of Ford using a trailing stop order, and that trail amount is set to 10%. In order to actually place this, we'll just come down here below and hit sell. And once we've done that, the order has now been placed. And if I were to look up here at the top on my chart at the moment, you can see the trailing stop order right here. The only annoying thing is, is that this little red box is not actually where our stop is at right now. Because remember, it's going to be 10% below the current price. Another place I could have seen this trailing stop is by coming back down here to my position section down here in the lower right hand corner. But instead, I'm going to flip it over to my active orders. So up here at the top, I'm going to click on orders. Now down below, you can see my open order to sell this position on Ford. It's for one share. And because I don't have a ton of room inside this box, I actually have to scroll over to see the rest of that information. But right there, it says we've got a trailing amount set to 10%. 
it is a trailing stop and that order is good for the day. Now, if I wanted to cancel that order, I could simply come up here to the order ticket and go ahead and right click on it, then come down here below and either hit cancel order to just outright cancel it or hit modify to edit it in some way. In my case, since I do want to cancel it, I'm just going to come down here below and hit cancel order, then come over here to the left and hit OK to confirm that I do want to cancel the order. But that's really it. That's how you're going to place the trailing stop on one of your current open positions, something you already hold in your account. But just to recap how we did that, we'll go through it quickly. Let's go ahead and head back over here and open up our current positions. For this one, let's go ahead and use Google as the example. So coming down here to Google, we are simply going to go ahead and right click on Google, go ahead and say close position. Since we have fractional shares at Google, we're going to come over here and make sure we click on close position with whole shares and then come to the right and say close in order entry. That will then build out an order ticket once again within our order entry tool where we can now specify the number of shares we wanted to put this trailing stop on. For now, I'll leave it set to all three. I can come over here to the order type and go ahead and flip that over to a trailing stop order. And now for this one, I'm going to set the trailing amount to a dollar amount. And let's say I want to get stopped down if Google ever drops by $5 a share. Once that's done, in order to place it, we'll come down here below and hit place order. We'll then make sure in the order confirmation box up here above that everything looks right. And it does at the moment. So we're selling three shares using a trailing stop with a $5 offset. And now in order to place it, we'll come down here below and hit sell. In order to check on that, if we wanted to look at the chart of Google, we can come up here above where we currently have F for Ford in the watch list or in the chart up here and instead type in Google or G-O-O-G. -O -O -G. And there you go. You can now see the trailing stop order on Google right here to close out of those three shares if Google ever drops by five bucks. But that really covers just about everything you need to know to place trailing stop orders within Webull. If you are looking to learn more, consider checking out this video next. You might find it helpful as well. But otherwise, have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you on the next one.